Hi friends, it's Yuris here and welcome to Tattoo Shop Talk, weekly-ish web show where we talk tattoo related stuff, I share what I know, you share in comments what you know and hopefully we all learn. So if that's something for you then consider subscribing and as always when you have something to say there's comment section, press likes and let's just get into this episode. And today I have my trustworthy iPad on a table and there was an update in April on Procreate it's update 4.3.3 at the moment and it gives you option to add text to your creation there's few more things added there's some features in brushes there's animated GIFs so now it's very easy and this tool is even more useful so you can add text right in Procreate which is awesome apart from text there's one more pretty awesome feature and at the end we'll look through some comments from previous Procreate video which I found useful and maybe you will too and maybe you will have something to share let's do this Procreate once we open our Procreate up we want to check is it updated and on what version it's on so how to do that you just press on this big icon boom and it says Procreate version 4.3.3 so we're all good for this moment and let's just open a sheet so now we have our walking customer waiting who wants to have awesome text tattoo and they show all these pictures from pinterest or whatever web resources so you have to do the text and you have your ipad and at this point you don't need to make screenshot take pictures from computer screens or phones you can just simply go into this little wrench tool add text it opens up in a box like this to add text you just write whatever you want to write write something awesome here you can stretch it out if necessary and you can edit style and there you have your font so you can go to what's already in there you can also add fonts you can change them to all the classics italic bold and all that stuff you can change size you can change distances in between letters you can stretch it out you can stretch it up and down you can move it like this you can make it more transparent which might be useful if you want to let's say trace or do slight changes we're not talking custom fonts because if you want to do custom fonts then obviously you have to learn it and do it different one good way how to do it is get a book for example like this this one is book by Anris and you can see a lot of pretty cool stuff in there and learn all the custom things this can be useful if you need a base if you need a shape if you need to add slight changes or you need something to start customize so that's that Another cool thing that you can do is you can make them all capital and if you press again it makes them all lowercase letters. It's also useful and not everyone knows how to do it even in some more advanced programs. One cool feature here, let's make it bold and by pressing this button you can make just outlines of it. So that could be useful for them people who want to do those shaded from bottom to top kind of things and choose some fonts like old english or something like that very useful stuff uh, you can underline it change all this stuff but that's there if, if necessary and when you have it like layer it shows up with a little text symbol and you can always do something you can add another layer you can do your whatever stuff and you can always get, go back to text layer and edit it. If it's displayed like little text layer, then you can always go back to edit text and you are back to your menus and you can play around, change fonts and do all that stuff. But once you start to modify it, you start to distort it, this kind of things, you wanna do some angles, distortions, warps and all that stuff, then it's no more like a text layer and then, then then you can go back and edit it so keep that in mind that's pretty cool and pretty useful as it comes to the text let's put new text layer let's say we have this fine line pinterest classic and we write something like subscribe so we have it here sometimes people want it more slanted more stretched out or something so then you can edit text style you can stretch it out, change opacity and then you can add new layer and then you can simply trace it and connect the letters and just use your whatever pen you use. And then you get something along them lines. You get me. 
I'm sure you understand what I'm trying to do here. And another thing, when you are in uh, text edit things, you can always add more fonts. So you press import font and it opens this folder and there's a folder with fonts. I have some fonts saved here, so you just add them. Obviously, when you add them, remember to get all the zip and zip programs because that gave me a bit of hard times because I wasn't ready to unzipping things but it's there and then you can add all your regular fonts. When you look for fonts you can al always find not only fonts with letters but you can find all sorts of funky stuff with splashes and some paw prints and things of that nature. I have some cool dinosaurs here for example so you can just check what's going on. You never know it might be useful at some point. You don't have to be dinosaur. There's a lot of useful symbols and splashes and, and that kind of things. So check that out as well. So that would be my main excitement about fonts and I showed you the basics and at least stuff I know. And another cool feature I want to show you, let's open something with a bit more layers. Let's say we have this situation going on now and once you open layers it has all these opened and unopened layers and you want to see what's going on on some specific layer so instead of going through all the stuff and unclicking and clicking them you can simply just hold on to this check mark and it opens only that layer if you hold on to it again it opens everything that was open before so that's pretty handy as well also in this update there's some stuff more added to brushes. I never go into this section, I don't do those dark arts, that's not for me. If you know what's really going on there with this update then let everyone know in the comment section. And the last feature which is not really useful in tattooing but if you do some big projects with a lot of layers and some animation like stuff then if you go in a wrench tool and then you go in a share and at the bottom you have animated GIF, PNG and MP4. So when you press that it shows this little animation where it takes every layer as a separate frame for animation and then you can make it faster or slower. So here here you adjust speed and then you can put transparent background, full resolution, web ready. Can be useful or at least fun at some point. So that would be it with this update, that's what I know. And now let's check some comments from previous Procreate episode and see what I have learned. Mambus Bambus is saying I highly recommend using that screen protector because it feels more like drawing on paper instead of that glass-like feeling. The pen works as good as before you will like it man so thanks for that i will consider but there were other comments that kind of scared me on that note there's another recommendation from helios to use all those plastic films but you have to be careful because some of them could be thicker thinner it can affect pen and and another one was there that that you can lose a bit of brightness if you use those tricky plastic films so that that was kind of because I also use iPad for watching videos and all that stuff so I don't want to lose any brightness or resolution. Another useful one was from Skidstorm and it is I highly recommend that you check the preferences and set up the different touch settings to your liking. On the second generation pencil you can double tap on the pencil to activate an action of your choosing. When I do that I open my quick menu, all buttons in quick menu is customizable. I have a paintbrush, specific pencil, previous color and flip canvas horizontally. It's very time efficient and one of my favorite features in Procreate. Also follow me on Instagram. Bah, 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 bah. Then Russell Aten, Aten recommends TattooSmart.com and it says they has tons of brushes. I really only use a liner set, has 1 to 11 round shaders which is really helps to understand your line weights plus already know what to use when you set up for a tattoo. And Evelyn Funderud? Funderud? And Evelyn recommends to get USB connection type of things to connect it iPad to the stencil printer or to the regular printer. With regular printers there's also wireless options. Actually it is on this, on this little pocket jet thing as well but I couldn't make it work and I have one of those cheap dongles so it didn't connect via USB as well. But if anyone have any tricks how to connect iPad and Procreate to pocket jet brothers stencil machine let me know because that would be super useful for me. And that's about it. Thank you for watching. Don't be shy with comments. Share your tips and tricks. Press like, subscribe, share video if you find it useful. And see you in the next episode. Bye.